all right welcome back once again to my channel people friends traders welcome back to my channel welcome back to this effects channel please consider subscribing if you are new here yeah consider subscribing to my channel i drop forest trading strategies forest trading guys both currency pairs and uh, boom and crash do i basically release more videos on uh indices uh, that is a static in this uh boom and crash volatility but don't worry people who trade currency pairs i'm preparing for you guys okay i'm preparing for you guys seriously now now i'm on crash 500 um i want to show you how to trade crash 500 uh profitably you can buy or sell okay here you can buy or sell crash 500 okay in fact this strategy works perfectly on crash 500 at order both crash 1000 works well uh boom also it works well on boom 500 and 1000 okay now as you can see i'm on a trade okay i'm on a trade and um this is my second entry it's not a perfect entry okay the second entry is not the perfect entry i don't supposed to enter but i just entered for the sake of this tutorial because i'm a kind of expecting spike somewhere here let me show you somewhere here okay around this place because this is a double bottom right you remember the video i, I created a video on this where you have a w pattern which is double bottom you have uh, a support right here okay and you see this movement from here to this point bounce up come down again retest that point and it's moving up okay this is uh, uh um one of uh i dropped a video on this okay so that's that's a part that's not what I'm, I'm showing you here but i just want, wanted to show you why i said i shouldn't have entered the second trade but i just entered because of uh uh that is this trade i'm talking about this one because of this tutorial sake look at where i entered the right place good then the second entry should be here around here after this price have successfully if the uh price successfully uh break out from here this point if you break out from this point you know move up to this point okay i will now enter uh a buy another buy here okay i'll enter another buy right there when uh, when it breaks that point because i'm expecting a spike to come within that point okay to a kind of pull back before it continues the uptrend all right so how do you trade this strategy is very simple very very simple you don't need that's why this strategy is not going to take time the setups is very simple and i will show you the setups okay please once you are on my videos watch the videos uh most of you will come to my dm asking me for the setups setup setup and i i am very sure that i drop the setups within the video so you should follow the video you must see the setups in the video so this is the second this is the uh, second zoom level okay second zoom level this is 15 minutes time frame on um crash 500 okay this thing i think it works well on 15 minutes time frame but you can trade i think you see the spike the spike came see what i'm saying exactly as i just finished saying it the spike came as in pull back push back all right that's why i said the this this entry is not a perfect entry but i just entered because of the tutorial seek hope you are following so i love trading life and as i'm saying it you see them happening because it's just it takes me time to study these things and i know i i actually know the movement i'm not a market maker i always tell you i'm not a financial advisor or anything like that but this is uh, uh for tutorial sake for uh, uh um educational purposes okay for you to learn and make money okay we are here to make money nothing else now um i'm using just two moving averages okay two moving averages two moving averages so what you need to do okay why okay first of all why why uh, uh did i even enter this trade why I entered this trade because my blue indicator crosses uh, the red indicator upward, okay? As you can see here, I believe here, the blue crosses the red upward, okay? Now, is it that once the blue crosses the red, we should enter a, uh, a buy upward? I'm talking about what happened here. No, you also have to wait for the red to start, you know, facing up, telling you that the price is moving up, okay? You see, the red now has started, instead of moving down, uh, decided to, sorry, let me off my data, right? Okay, 
you see that the price uh have started moving up the red changed direction from a downward movement from here as you can see it's moving the reach get to this point the blue crosses the red upward then the red now has a kind of reversed and start moving up right so once you see such thing happen you enter a buy as simple as that as simple as that okay for you to be more confident okay you need to see all that that's why i said you know indicators most time are lagging some of them you see where i enter can you see where i enter this trade uh let me show you so you see where i enter this trade right there that is my first entry okay i entered there but look at the movement i missed you see the movement i missed because of indicators that's why i i love price action i trade that is that is my my my, my in fact i don't do anything in forest trading except price action indicator is just to make work more easier for beginners okay that's why i even put indicators at all in my vip group i teach them price action i always instruct them to delete every indicators they have it doesn't mean indicators work okay it's good if you are trading indicator good and fine all right but i believe that price action is the best I believe that looking at what the price is doing i'm a servant of the price whatever price does i follow so i feel like price is more powerful than every other thing indicators lag but you can still use it to trade okay it's make work more simpler as you can see the crossing and you enter the only thing is that you will not be getting this like this point okay if you're a price action trader and a trader and you see, you discover this double uh, bottom okay when you once you discover it you would have entered the trade right here okay and by now you are on money all right so but someone who is using indicator might be just waiting for the cross okay so but you can still trade indicators that's why you i'm using it now you can still trade it profitably okay if you cannot dictate all those price action strategies and every uh, uh, uh every other stuff uh, patterns okay price action patterns and every other stuff in terms of pri uh, using price action to analyze the trade you can still use indicator and you still be profitable as in a profitable trader now uh as you can see the cross we entered a, a, a buy and once it crosses that resistance point above there you can enter another buy okay so if we should back test this you see this point here look at the crossing here so after the crossing we enter our buy uh, sorry our sell sell we enter our sell and you see the movement all right you see the movement so follow me let's back test this and see watch me watch me here again sorry here you see the crossing right and you enter the buy when you get to that point look at what happened here it moved down a bit and remember the blue have to cross the red downward i i, I think you, you you know then look at here the blue crosses the red here focus that focus on that place but what do you see there it crosses downward but the red keep moving up all right that means you don't have to sell and that's the reason why you see that kind of manipulation and the market keep moving up you must wait for the red to move in the direction of the blue before you enter a buy or a sell right there the blue crosses the red downward that point just focus on that place you see the blue crosses and that's when you have that spike but the red did not turn the red keep moving up and that's why the price did not obey that blue okay you must see a clear situation whereby the blue crosses the red downward for a sell like what happened here crosses the blue then the red itself the sorry the the blue crosses the red and the red itself change direction and start moving with the blue so if the blue should cross the red and the red keep moving upward while the blue is moving down no need don't even try to sell all right both of them must have a kind of mutual agreement that okay i cross you now and i'm going down please follow me then if the red accept to follow the blue then you enter and follow them right and make them the number <laughs> the, the, the third person okay so but if the red if the blue crosses the red and beg the red okay follow me up i want to go up and the red say no i want to go sideways or i want to go down then you 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 wait and be watching them you don't have to follow anybody because you don't know whether the blue is more powerful or the red is more powerful so you need to see a mutual agreement between the blue line and the red line 
once they are in agreement and say okay we are going down now you you make them the third person okay and follow them right so you need to understand this you need to understand this so this is just what you need to do put your lines follow them put your moving average as you can see here it keep happening okay see so the only mistake you will make is to uh see a cross without on you know trying to make sure that both of them are moving in the same direction look at the cross here the red turn, the blue crosses and the red follows okay all of them we are moving up and that's why you have this all right the same thing happened here the blue crosses here all right the red turn and followed and you have the, those spikes now you still have this here uh the look at what happened here look 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 the blue cross is here right when it crossed the red keep moving down look at the red here moving down this way okay then you have those uh a spike come down push the price down before this red decided to turn and start moving up okay that's when you have this movement here so you must understand this you must make sure that they have a mutual agreement that we all are moving in a specific direction we are moving up or we are moving down before you enter that, that that just how simple this strategy is you don't need to do any other work okay you don't need to do any other work just that just that you don't need to do any other stuff just follow the blue line and uh, 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 follow the blue and the red so wherever they go you follow them all right that's how simple trading this that's how simple you can trade this so as you can see we recovered but i'm still not yet comfortable okay until this uh price until the price breaks this point okay once it breaks this point now i will enter another another buy look at the point i'm waiting to enter another buy it's right right there i'll enter another buy here okay and i move right this straight up so this is exactly how to treat this very simple very simple just two lines now if you want to be more comf comfortable or confident trading this you need another stuff maybe you need another confirmation okay for you to trade this thing profitably because you know i told you indicator most time lags you need to see a candlestick pattern formed maybe let me just show you here now let me show you okay let me show you from here sorry now you see the cross here right when you look before the cross you will see something that happened here this is what we call engulfing candlestick pattern it's formed which is a bearish engulfing candlestick a very powerful one all right this is a very powerful bearish and goofy candlestick from there the this uh, uh red candlestick there we are able to engulf almost three can previous candlesticks four set it engulfs four previous candlesticks this is a powerful downtrend if i there is no way i will see this kind of trade and i will not enter it with a high a kind of higher uh, 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 <laughs> i will risk <laughs> a kind of i will risk more okay I will put more money in the in this kind of trade because my indicator is showing me a clear downtrend and i have a uh, uh, uh bearish and goofing candlestick formed before the cross so is i will enter this kind of trade comfortably okay without fear all right so that's why you have this movement so what about here you see a pin bar candlestick pattern formed here and there was a cross and you see that up movement a kind of a bit up movement here when it crosses so boy this is not a kind of a, a good trade right there all right so when you see a candlestick pattern formed and this uh, uh, and you have this cross or crossing you comfortably enter your trade so you can trade with this indicator but you can combine candlestick pattern or uh, any strategy maybe you are using a uh, double top double bottom like what just happened here combine the strategies and start you know enter your trade comfortably okay but if you don't know anything about um uh price action okay you can still use this indicator and trade where okay you can trade this indicator just using those crosses to trade so most time the indicators i see it as uh indicators for beginners okay and for confirmation i use indicators for confirmation or i want to teach maybe someone who is just starting uh for a student who don't know about the price and everything about the price action uh, I can just add, ask you to add indicators, this and that, so that you, you know, 
feel happy you are trading okay but for me i always advise you to if you don't know anything about forex trading please know little about price action okay if you don't even read the news for me i don't really go for news okay most time so but if you don't know anything at all please know little about price action because this this is what you are doing everything you are doing here is about price where the price is going so why not just give it time to learn price so this is how to trade this comfortably i don't need to go back it's all it's, it's keep happening it's keep happening you don't need to you know uh uh keep repeating this so let me show you the setup immediately let me show you the setup you go to this you just have two moving averages the first one is moving average period 15 period 15 you have shift zero method simple apply to close you have already seen it then after that put your the, any color of your choice and you click done the second moving average is moving average five okay period five period five shift zero method simple apply close to be just choose any color of your choice and click on done so this is how simple trading the strategy is so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up yeah give it a thumbs up and uh, also please also 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 like and share my videos if you are here to subscribe to my channel subscribe if you want to learn forex trading from scratch come on hit me up as kcfs trader and i will guide you now please take note of this if you want to trade this strategy profitably combine it with candlestick pattern or uh, price action pattern now look at here double top double button it's work it works way well here look at it here the same thing we are trading now is what happened here okay you have a kind of uh, level here and uh, the price make this movement come down here come pull back retest this point and you see that pin bar already formed this is double confirmation and there, there if you did not enter and you see a cross again what are you waiting for oh this is a sure buy okay this is a sure buy so you need to know little about price action okay it's very important even though you are using indicators you need to know little about price action so that indicators will not deceive you you know make you lose some money all right if you like this video please don't forget to don't forget to smash the like button okay subscribe and i uh, will see you when i see you in my next video enjoy